much bigger stake, which can be more wealth creation can happen in this particular market. Nice. So, uh, for the upcoming sports managers or analysts, uh, from uh, an employability point of view, how what kind of advice would you give to them in terms of sh- uh, should they necessarily be educated in by sports like a sports management course? Uh, what kind of skills would they require to become an analyst? Um, anything else that you would look for in these in these guys? It's uh, let's say uh, uh, myself being five years back i would be i was still looking at like you know should i do a sports management and get on to it learn this particular thing so obviously five years back there were not many academics who were able to teach sports management now but not available in india the option was either to go abroad or maybe pick up a one or two colleges were still available in india at that point of time but now five years down the line there are so many programs so many universities have really come out and you can actually learn them right that means you can actually learn the entire a basic way of learnings in the sense like the procedures, how it has been done, case studies and everything. But that's that's one part of it. On top of it, every manager or a aspirant into sports, he had to work on the ground, right? Until unless I always think you know sports something which you actually always be on the pitch, right? at least in our uh, work conditions perspective. You got to be there and you got to figure out, right? There has to be a hustle. You got to go meet people, network them. And show them what you can do, right? So uh, I was also in a state of mind where I was like, I'm okay to do anything for you to be part of any club or a academy, but I don't know what I what I'm good at, right? So now it's like I know you you guys are great. There's a problem which you guys need. You might need money. You might need sponsor. Anything I can help you to get here, right? If I get you a sponsor, will I get a job from you? You know. So that should be the way in thinking that. This is what I can help you, and that's where I can actually pitch in. So the best part is we are learning from the, the the best people out there in the market. There are many expertise actually have come out, and then actually can provide you with their expertise. Uh, you know, who has actually done it over there because the leagues have become much more bigger. And if you the, the but the best advice would be to if you want to hit out to the market, you need to figure out what they want and how you're going to service that particular solution for them. So if those things can be done, I think that's a good fit and you can actually figure it out. So it's more about hustling and figuring out what best the other person needs. And if you can actually help them out, if you can solve the problem, definitely they can get you in in picture. I mean, they definitely can get you onto the team or the the players or the coaches and you are pretty much there to help them grow. Yeah, and for people listening, uh, Sports KPI also has a sports analytics course that you guys have recently introduced, which is on a monthly basis. So, and I, w- I have taken part in the course and I, I enjoyed it. So, uh, uh, Naveer, if you could share a little bit about it so that people who may be interested in it can actually go ahead with it. So, uh, Abai, so we had like a lot of people who were approaching me and the company about how do I enter sports and you know, what should I do to enter sports? There a lot of people came out and we were like, okay, how do we share this knowledge? You know, we want to, as a company for us to be in the, the growth as well. So we want to have a, a sports analysis community is what we want to create, right? People, it's not about us solving everything. We need to create more people who are interested in this kind of a journey and they can go and solve many such problems for the clubs and the, and the teams. So we said, how can we share our knowledge, what we have learned over there, and so that people can understand this and set a foundation so that they can go to the next level over there. Okay. So what we did was considering of a person as a as a role of a sports analyst, what are the list of things he needs, what are the skill sets he has to figure out before he goes there. So we put up an online course. Okay. The actual plan was to do it much before COVID. And uh, we saw there a lot of people were uh, were aspirant to into taking it up, and it all happened. Everything went online, right? And it's been very effective. And we have already done close to three batches now, and the fourth batch is currently on. So I could say I'm quite proud to say that at least close to sixty to sixty to seventy people have already been taken this particular course, and they're able to get that knowledge how to take into that particular sport. I mean, how to go to the next level. And we have built up a community of seventy people where we keep communicating about the work being done, maybe some opportunities, what's been happening outside as well. So if there's anyone interested, uh, they can always reach out to me 
uh, check out our website on Sports KPI for the courses where we have all the information. It will help you out in terms of what are the skill sets an analyst requires, and we cover all the topics ranging from video analysis, tactical, technical, Excel for sports, data science in sports, and also you can get to connect with a couple of sports industry experts, and then you'll get a certificate at the end of the course as well. So this will definitely help you to set the foundation right, and then you will be able to go and approach a club or academy or a player and start analyzing uh, if that's your dream which you want to enter upon. Yeah, so we can end here. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to be a part of this podcast. I think people have learned a lot about the entire uh, background of analytics throughout this podcast and from your journey as well. And yeah, thank you for being on the podcast. Sure, well, thanks for this. And I also appreciate the way you do this uh, as a sportsman and student, having so much of energy to, I've been following a lot of podcasts and I always give a lot of credit for you to go ahead. You know, that's what I said. I mean, you need to do something else, something unique to make other people recognize you, right? And I think you are going in the right direction. So kudos to you guys. All right. I think that's a great work. Thank you. Thank you.